What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be getting rid of this grill here and we're gonna be installing this brand new bad boy right here. It's gonna be a version two grill, which you guys will see in a bit. It has some cool features on it and it's all bolt on. You guys will see what I mean by that, but let's get into the video. We'll show you guys how to do it. All right, you guys, so what we have right here is gonna be the version two TRD Pro Grill. As you guys can see it right away off the bat, it does have a different design. It's a similar look, but different design. You guys will of course see it once it's all built out and installed in the truck, but it's gonna come with the grill inside. It's also going to come with this bad boy right here. What this does is if you guys do have a front facing camera on your Tacoma, this is gonna allow it to install on the grill. It's all bolt on, as you guys can see, it'll bolt on to this grill. It's gonna be an easy feature to install. And then it's also gonna come with all the lettering that you need to install. And those are also bolted on. As you guys do remember on the old TRD Pro grills that you guys would buy, you guys would actually have to stick them on there and hope for the best that they don't fall off. This one, it's gonna be bolted on. It's also going to come with some lights, which of course it's your option to install it or not. We're gonna do it because it has the cutouts for it already, so might as well just throw them on there. It's gonna come with an Adifuse wiring harness needed to install that. It's also going to come with this bad boy here. So if you guys do have a 2018 and up Tacoma and you guys do have a front sensor on your Tacoma, you're gonna need to install this. If you guys don't, and if you guys have an older Tacoma, don't worry about it, just use what's already installed. So let's get into it, it's gonna be super simple. So for the first thing you're gonna need to do is if you guys do have a 2018 and up Tacoma, of course, like I had said earlier, you're gonna have sensors in the front. So you wanna start working on removing that wiring harness. If you notice right here, there's gonna be a little brown clip with some needle nose pliers. I know these are not needle nose pliers, but with some needle nose pliers, grab the clip and insert it inwards. And once it goes in just like that, up next, you're gonna need to remove the harness, which is right here. You should be able to uh, push the pin, which the pin, if you see my finger, will be right here at the bottom. So you should be able to pull it out. It might be a little bit hard for you guys, but there it is. So once you have that harness removed, keep in mind that's only if you have a 2018 and up Tacoma. Up next, what you wanna do is either get a panel removal tool or a flathead. And you're gonna notice there's a little clip here, which you have to remove. Just insert your panel removal tool or a flathead, pry it open, and it should release just like that. There's gonna be one on this side, and there's gonna be one in the exact spot on the opposite side. It's gonna be the same thing. You insert, pop right open, and it should come right out by hand, just like that. And you wanna make sure not to push these in uh, until you go to reinstall it. So leave them open just like that. Up next, you're gonna get a size 10 millimeter socket. There's gonna be a bolt here and a bolt here. Go ahead and remove those. So there's one. And there's two, just like that. Next, what you're gonna need to do is pull up on these two, just like that. Once you have pulled up, Go ahead and grab the grill and it should release. Don't be afraid. Just carefully pull out and just carefully pull out and don't break anything. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now for the next step, now that we have the grill on the table here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get a Phillips head screwdriver. If you don't know what a Phillips head is, it's the plus. And if you don't know what that is, you probably shouldn't be doing this job anyway. Hit up Jerry, Beast Fab, he'll be in the description box below. So the next step, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna disconnect the sensor here. So all you do is it's gonna have a tab right here off to the side. Just go ahead and push in. And it might be a little hard depending how old your truck is and how much uh, dirt and grime is there. <laughs> so after struggling, you remove that. And up next, we're gonna need to remove this sensor here. So there's gonna be three screws, one here, one here, one there. For these side ones, if they're really stuck on, I'd recommend getting a size 10 millimeter socket because you can also use that on the side ones. Take off the sensor. Make sure not to lose those screws because you are going to need, to need them when you go to reinstall it. You're also gonna notice these silver things here. 
pull them out and remember the orientation of them because you're going to need to reuse them on the new grill. So just like that, there you have it. Now that we have that removed, up next you're gonna notice there's gonna be these little like tab push pins all the way around, all the way around the grill. Go ahead and remove those and that should release the grill. Having two people in this job will help out because these clips tend to pop themselves back in. So if you have somebody else to help you, they can hold it in place. So once you finish that up, you should be left with just this front piece here. Now you could do two things. You can put this up on Vilmont Market. You can put this up on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, anything like that. Go ahead and sell it, make some money. I don't want to sell this for 600 bucks. So if anybody wants it, hit us up. Let us know in the comments. I'm just kidding. But let's go ahead and now install the new one. The next step is going to be building this brand new grill out, which you're going to love it. Once it's in the truck, you can make up your mind if you want to buy this one. If you do, it's going to be in the description box below. I've linked it there. So first things first, we're going to start off with the lights. So I'm going to flip this over here and you're going to see on each of the lights that it comes with, there's going to be two holes there. If you look on the grill, there's going to be holes as well. So you're going to have to line it up just like that. And then inside the package with the lights, it's going to come with some provided screws, which of course you get two per light. Go ahead and tie those down with the Phillips head. Jesse, yes, oh. All right, you guys, so now you want to get your Phillips head once more. You want to go ahead and now write it out like we told you guys. Make sure you go to school. Stay in school if you're still in school. And uh, go ahead and grab the first letter and line it up with the holes. After that, go ahead and grab the screws provided. And on the back side, while holding the letter, you go ahead and put the screws in. If I was you guys, I'd start it by hand first. Go ahead and tighten it down. And you'll repeat the process for the rest of them. So up next, now that you've finished up with the lettering and the lights, you're gonna face it on the back and you're gonna notice right here where your sensor would be, which once again, it's only if you have a 2018 and up Tacoma, if you have something that's 2016, 2017, skip this step. But for you guys that have the sensor, there's gonna be four screws right here. You wanna go ahead and unscrew this. Super simple, go ahead and grab your Phillips head and they should come out super easy. So once you have all four screws, this piece should come out. And now what you want to do is throw this one away. And you're going to be using this one that comes provided. This is going to be your sensor garnish. So all you do is go ahead and face it downwards, put it underneath. And you'll push in to line up the holes on this with this here. One thing before I put it in, I want to show you guys. You're going to notice on this side, they're long. On this side, they're short. So you want to make sure the short pieces are towards the bottom of the grill. And then you go ahead and insert. If you need to, you can flip it on the other side just to make sure you're putting it in correctly. Once it's in its position, flip it back over and go ahead and start reinstalling those four screws you took off. All right, now that we're all set, now we can go ahead and install this onto our panel of the Tacoma. This section here, it's gonna be super simple. All you need to do is remove the foam padding that was installed from the factory. Just take that off. All that does is just acts as a cover so these tabs don't break in the shipping process. That's all that is. You notice all the tabs there. When you're installing it, make sure you line them up perfectly because these tabs do tend to break pretty easy. So just be really careful on that. I break them all. Once you have them lined up, now you can go ahead and just work your way around. Make sure it snaps in all the way. You should hear it click. And I would do another circle just to ensure it's seating properly. All right, you guys, now we're gonna reinstall the sensor. Once again, if you don't have the newer trucks, you don't have to worry about it. Keep in mind with these things, like I told you earlier, you're gonna notice one side is square, one side is round. You wanna make sure you can see the round side and the square is facing down. 
just like that. Go ahead and grab your sensor, put it in its position like you took it off. Go ahead and reinstall the screws. Silver one will go right here up top, start it by hand. And then the other two black ones will be on the side. All right, now that that's in its place, go ahead and reinstall the harness. Just like that, let's go back to the truck. And there it is, you guys. So that's how it looks. Let's put it on the truck and see that look. So when installing it, you're gonna notice right here at the bottom, you're gonna have some tabs. Those tabs are going to need to insert into these holes here. And another thing you're gonna need to take note on right here up top, you're gonna see these here and these here. Those will have to insert up top right there. So when doing it, just be careful. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. Once it does, you should be able to push in. Make sure it lines up top over here where you can see the screws. And now we could go ahead and reinstall the two screws and the two push tabs. Let's do that now. Actually, it looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna I like lie. It. I really like it. I like so now that you have everything in line, go ahead and grab your push tabs. And like I said, make sure that they're open in this position. If you accidentally close them, make sure to reopen them because then it won't insert into the hole. Super simple, once it's in, push the tab. And one thing to take note on when you're pushing them in, if I was you guys, hold them like this because if you hold it from the top here, you're just gonna push the tab in and it's not gonna go all the way. So insert it like this with your hand. Once it's inserted, just like that, then you can push at the top. Now all you have left, of course, is gonna be the two screws that go up top right here with the size 10 millimeter socket. This is plastic, I would use a regular wrench uh, unless you've done this 20 times. Unless you've done this 20 times. <laughs> Hey guys, we'll give you guys a good look how it looks on the truck right now. But before that, I wanted to explain. So once again, if you guys do have a front facing camera, you wanna make sure to install this before putting this on. We don't have one on this truck, so it doesn't matter to us, but I just still wanna show you guys. If you were to install it, it'd go right about this section here. So it'd be sitting there and you'd have your camera right here. Keep that in mind. That's one good positive about buying this grill. If you want it, description box below. I wish the TRD Pro grills that we have had this option as well because i would have been super happy but it's fine get yours if you want it so now we're going to go ahead and start off in the back over here what we need to do is reinstall the harness if you have a 2018 and up tacoma which it's right here if you guys do remember the little brown tab that you took off go ahead and insert that first make sure it clips in its place and it won't fall off go ahead and now connect the factory wiring harness to the sensor make sure that clicks once that's done, now you have two options. You can either not connect your Raptor lights and just have them for looks right there, or you can go ahead and start with the wiring harness. The cool thing with this kit is it comes with two different options. It's gonna come with the wiring harness, with which regardless, you're gonna need to use it. And the way it comes is if you guys do have a switch panel, you'd connect it to the positive and negative of your switch panel. Now, for instance, with us, we don't have a switch panel on this truck yet. So what we need to do is actually Right here on the red section, we need to cut this off, basically splice it, and we have to connect the add a fuse that comes provided in the kit, connect it here, and now we have to tap into the fuse box with this and then ground it off with the black one. So just keep that in mind. If you don't have a switch panel already installed, these lights, it's gonna be an extra step. Now, if you do, it's super simple. Please do not connect this straight to your battery because it will stay on forever and it'll end up draining out your battery if you don't notice it. So keep that in mind. So looking right here on the harness on the other side, first things first, as you're gonna notice, there's these three connectors here, and it's gonna go to the, connected to the back of those lights that were connected. So they only go in one way, as you can see it's there. So it should just slide in one way. You can see the little tab kind of poking out there. That's gonna connect with this here. Push them in, make sure it clicks and do the rest of them the same way. Goes in one way, push in, click, and then you do the last one, same thing, push in, and click. 
So now you're gonna notice you're gonna have a lot of access wire here. So if you do have zip ties, I would highly suggest using them just to make it for a clean install. So that way you can route your wire properly to the fuse box. Oh, sorry. So one thing I wanted to take note on for you guys, when routing this wire, if you guys do not have a switch panel like us here, uh, best way to do it is honestly try to route it inside the truck to get to the fuse pa panel that's inside. That'd be a better route just to avoid any water damaging anything. That's the best way. I've done many videos on that. If you have a question on that, just let me know and I'll try to guide you as best as possible. For us, uh, we don't have enough wire to route it in there and I'm not at home to be able to get some wiring, so we're gonna just work with what we have. So we're gonna be using this fuse box here. Pop it open. All right, so when you open up the fuse box here, you're gonna notice there's this tool here. Go ahead and take that out because you're gonna need it. And then when looking at the diagram here, on the left side, you're gonna see it says 10A and 20A right next to each other. One's gonna say HLP RHLO. On this side, it'll say radio NO1. We're gonna be taking out the one that says 10A. So let's go look over here and I'll point it out. So if you see right here on the fuse box, this is closest to the body of the truck. You're gonna see there's a 10 there and there's a 20 there. You're gonna take out the one that has the 10. So literally grab it with the tool and it should be fairly easy with this. And then don't lose the 10 because you're gonna to need to. This wire coming from the lights, you're gonna notice it has a fuse already, but on the other side it's empty. That's where you're gonna go ahead and place that 10 right there. It should just slide in easily. Should, keywords. So this is kind of what you should have. Go back to the fuse box and you're gonna just slide it right in. Up next, what you're gonna need to do is you're of course gonna have the black wire left over. You're gonna wanna go ahead and ground it. We're gonna be using this bolt here, which is the grounding wire for the battery and the vehicle. So we're gonna take it off with the size 10 millimeter socket and we'll ground it in there. We don't need to take the bolt out all the way because uh, it has a split right here. So it should just be able to slide right in. Nothing hard about it. And we'll go ahead and reinstall that bolt. Before actually closing up the fuse box, if I was you guys, I'd highly recommend go ahead and turn on your truck. Make sure the lights turn on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, you guys, so now that you've secured everything, you've tested it and made sure it works, up next, go ahead and now reinstall your fuse box. Don't forget about your tool. Make sure to save it, because you may need it in the future. And keep in mind, I'm gonna keep saying this, I'd highly recommend installing this in your fuse box inside. We don't have extra wire to run it. We're gonna do it at a future time, but keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and reinstall it, just exactly how we took it off. And reason I say that is because now the wire being there, it doesn't let the fuse box close properly, but it will work. Just give it a good yank. All right, now that's done. Let's go ahead and cover everything up and then clean up our mess. And we'll show you guys a good look as to how it looks. Alright you guys, so we finished up with the installation on the grill. I'm gonna show you guys right now, but let me first show you mine, which is just a traditional TRD Pro grill. So as you guys can see, mine is just the regular one that everyone gets. Only difference is mine's a little custom because it lights up and it has my name. So let's go ahead and show you guys the version two grill now. So there it is right there. So if you guys do wanna get it, once again, I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. But I really, really like the fact how everything was kind of bolt on as far as the lettering, the garnish and the actual lights. On mine, it does have to kind of like stick on if you had the original one with the regular Toyota. It has to be like with the double-sided st sticky tape. This one here, all bolt-on and everything was very, very easy to install. So, and it gives it a nice clean look as you guys can see there. So if you guys did enjoy today's quick video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Feel free to subscribe